It's another beautiful day in Smite Duels. And today, we're against a whole Yi as Terra. I'll use a different skin since uh, that's what people were recommending. Alright, let's see. Poets Papa Wheelie! And he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, did I miscount that? I miscounted that. Okay, he has a lot of stars on Hoi. Alright. Okay. Listen. I know I didn't episode upload in two days. But that's because I've been... I've been basically having a... What happens is that it's... Sometimes it's, it's, it's bad that I do read every single comment, right? And seeing all the comments basically telling me that I don't know how to play Terra, it's like kind of got to me and it's like, I know how to play Terra. Like I was, I was doing really good in t with Terra a, a, just a couple seasons ago and it's just, I have, I'm not practiced with her anymore. So when I see a bunch of comments tell me I don't know how to play her basically, and they're true, it got to me. And I was just like, I don't want to record a Terra game, but we're going to do it and we're going to have good vibes. And what I, what I was like, okay, what was I doing wrong, right? What I was doing wrong was that I wasn't doing the old OG start, which is Celestial. Celestial start is OP. It gives me power, MP5, and tons of defense. That's what we need to be doing. Okay, he bounced me. That's fine. Just juke. Juke. I maybe used that bracer a tiny bit too late, so I didn't get all the health back. That's fine. Because we have the best heal in the world. At 4 HP, half every half second. See, we'll just heal up that auto. Mm. Okay. Well, actually, we can't clear wave, so. Might as well try and auto him. Okay. Well. I could go Jade Emperors. Jade Emperors, actually, it doesn't give that much defense or power, but. By lowering your opponent's power by 30, you reduce their damage by quite a bit. Like, that's like, you know, reducing damage before it's even applied to you. I can't even clear this wave. Okay. I still think the 3 is better than Max here. Oh, he's going to steal my buff too? Okay, pop a wheelie. Pop a wheelie told me he's a... Uh, or he, he, he reached out to me. He wants, he wants like, a video, perhaps edited. But he's getting the plays for it, and it's going to be super hype. I'm going to always have fun editing. The, the, funny, the, best, the funny thing about making a montage is that I love the editing part so much. But the actually collecting the, the clips, oh, I hate that <laughs> sometimes. Like the Kepri video, I played Kepri for five hours straight to make that video. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys sharing it and stuff. So, like, I don't know. I hope I do a good job when he gets all the clips. I know he's still working on it. Pop is a great guy. He streams. Uh, okay. So, I still can't afford an item. That's fine. I haven't died yet. I'm only one level behind. I am 600 gold behind, which which sucks, but can't really do anything. I'm going back to my roots, all right? A lot of people had different suggestions. I can't do them all. I'm going to go back to what... What worked for me when I was making the Terra Duel video, and that was Celestial Start, or Jade Emperor Start, or Lotus Crown Start. Lotus Crown gives 60 protections. That's 80 when I stand in it. Plus it gives MP5 and power. Not bad, not bad. I think the main's still better then. Celestial gives 60 power, that's why I want it. 60 power is a lot. He already has half my tower because he's so ye. I wonder how many people on my channel actually know that I used to be a Ho Yi main. <laughs> I have four stars on Ho Yi. My, one of my first videos on the channel was a Ho Yi montage, and it's still good. <laughs> Back in season two. That was before they buffed Ho Yi, too. Uh, for those that don't know, back in season two. They, Ho Yi came out, he was a really, really bad hunter. Um, and then they buffed his one so that it didn't need to be charged anymore. Because it was kind of like Athena's one where you had to charge it up and then shoot it. They changed that. And he was still kind of bad. And then they did the biggest buff ever, which was they lowered the cooldown of his one by like four seconds. And he went from bad to like one of the best hunters. And then my montage was before they buffed, that, buffed him. 
because it's like he used to use his one, and it's like, all right, it's down, kill him, you know? You had so much time, but then after that, it's like, you just don't have enough time to kill him. Unfortunately, his escape is going to counter a lot of our damage in this game. Oh, he already took that. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is this a full defense game? This is what we call a full defense game. Yeah, he was waiting for that. I can't box him. Oh, I should raise her. I can't box him or anything, man. I was just trying to get the stones off him. Because I was going to ult and then crush him, right? But he was waiting to juke the crush the entire time. So I was waiting, waiting, waiting. I was like, alright, I can't wait anymore. Missed it, of course, because he was juking it. And then... Yeah, and then I was basically just trying to get the four autos off to get at least my ultimate damage on him when I should have just instead ran away. Celestial did get nerfed, though. How much protection is it now? It's seven times five. So it's 75 protections. That's not too bad. Obviously, before the stacks are diminished. All right. I barely clear. My two does 81 damage. I only have two points in it, but oof. I hate Terra cooldown so much. They're so long. Maybe I should start breastplate. It's so long. And oh, he could just jump everything I do. No. Please don't bounce me. Okay. He bracered. I don't know why he bracered. Like there was no way I was going back in on that. And I'm going another defense item because I'm getting destroyed. Thorns. Okay, here's the strat. Thorns second item Nemean also. And we just make him kill himself with no Nemean thorns. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. Does this have a special emote? No, it doesn't. Low tier skin. Okay. Alright. That's fine, that's fine. Tier 2 defense, I'm sure that's going to be a pestilence. He has vision of me, I need to run. Hey, I finally cleared the wave. With only two abilities. Okay. I know Terra has a good clear. It's just... It's hard to use my entire kit to clear the wave when he has so much pressure. Because then I'll be a sitting duck. If I use my 1, 2, and 3. It really sucks that he can immune my entire kit like that. Or my one, my 3, 1. Just by leaping. Okay, my... <laughs> My kid's still down. Alright, there we go. Such a long cooldown, man. Okay, I can't move. Cool. Cool. He's just gonna go around. Dude, I can't go anywhere. You'll kill me. His vision of me. I really can't do anything. Alright, I guess I'm out, maybe. Maybe I'm out. I don't know. Depends on which way he goes. If he goes around that blue buff, I may possibly take be dead. Okay. He is two levels ahead. And 2,000 gold ahead. Alright. Um. Okay. Nothing will scratch my 
sucks that I have to go so much defense, but if I don't, I will instantly die. What I could do, okay, how about this? I go into Mian first, right? Because I need Nemean desperately right now. And I go into Kronos Pennant, that way I have even more cooldown. Oh, but then I don't have any pen. No, that's not a good idea. I need my pen. I need my Spear of the Mages. Without Spear of the Mages, it doesn't matter if I have cooldowns or not. Because I won't be doing any damage. Ooh. Nemean or Breastplate? Nemean or Breastplate? I'm pretty useless without cooldowns. But Nemean's like... Nemean would be doing quite a bit right now. He's about to get his Executioner though, so I don't think it would make that much of a difference. If he didn't have pen then, yeah, it would be great. Really sucks that you can do that. Hey, I did. An eighth of his health. Okay. So let's wait for my stacks to replenish and my cooldowns. He's going to leap this, that's fine. The speeds. <laughs> Look how long my cooldowns are. I just want to get my alt damage off. I did not get my alt damage off. Oh. He's at half health. Maybe I could actually take this fight. I mean, I got to take a fight before he gets his pen because most of my build is defense right now. There's a leap. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna kill the monolith, that's fine. Nothing I can really do about that. I could do this for more damage. Oh, he was out of range, okay. All right. I vote Nemean. I vote Nemean into Spirit of Mages. That's what I'm going, I'm going Thorns too. Nemean, Thorns, Spirit of Mages. And if he goes double defense, I I have, I don't know, demonic. <laughs> I don't know, we transition into full auto attack. I have no idea. Okay. 203 power. Okay, he's, a, he's looking a little scary. I just heard him ward, meaning he's thinking about going for a bull demon. There's a leap. He didn't leap. Okay. And now that he has executioner, I can do nearly nothing. Okay. Because now it's like I don't have protections. Hmm. Alright. I'd rather him leap that than my other ability. I really need to not get triple bounce right now. Where's the leap? There's a leap. Okay, I might actually be able to kill him. Nice! Yes! Yes! I'm only... I was only, what, 2,500 gold behind? Now I'm 2,000 gold behind. Hell yeah. No, I'm about 1,000. I don't know. I can do math. Look, all that matters is I, I got a return kill. Which means I can get my Spear of the Mages online because that gave me so much gold. Can I get red buff? If I get red buff, I will be so happy right now. I will be so, 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 so happy. Please. Okay, no. All right. What if you went to red buff and try to take it? But God said, oh, ye took it. All right. Spear of the Mages. Um, we will go into... Let's go into Divine Rune because he has Bracer, and also I need more flat pen. Like, if I'm if I'm going a low power build, if you go a low power build, you need a lot of pen to compensate. Otherwise, you're not going to do damage. High power, high pen, one shots. But low low power, high high pen will, also, will do tons of damage still. As long, you know, it's like as long as you have something else in your build. Like, I have a lot of defense, right? So a lot of defense, low power, high pen build. So it works. He's going to jump. That's fine. All right, I can probably turn around on him. Got quite a bit of his health. Spirit Mage is actually helping. Right. 
Oh, what was that bounce? That bounce scared me. That bounce scared me big time. <gasps> I, I, my, I placed my three in the wall. Oh my god. Okay. I pressed three and it, it went in the wall and then I dashed just... You know. Okay. Okay, I need to get his leap. If I can get his leap, then I can kill him. Well, I missed, so I can't get his leap now. Just heal up. Heal up a tiny bit. I want my Chronos pendant. I want my Chronos pendant. Okay. Maybe I can kill him. If he ults, I can maybe kill him with thorns. Nope, he's just gonna do that. Okay. Do I stay? Yes. Oh god. Clap! No, not good enough clap. I could use my alt to heal, but I kind of want him to be in range of it. Nah, he's... Is he staying? No, he's not staying. Alright. Well, hey, if I can get red buff, that's fine. I wish I didn't use my three in the middle of lane, though. Because I wasn't sure if he was going to stay or not. Alright. Oh, look, I'm, I'm focusing. I might not be commenting as much, but hey, if it increases the win rate, it's fine. Also, like I said at the beginning, I do read every comment. I know I complain a lot in this series, but after playing Guardians for, what, five years in duel... You know, it's, it's a little hard to hold back when you have when you fight the same thing hundreds and hundreds of times. So I'm trying to keep more positive vibes this video. And I, I did I tried to do that in the Sylvanas video, but unfortunately my mic didn't record. But yeah, I do I do read what you guys are saying. I know that the complaining kind of sucks, which is why I try to hold back. Because I used to not complain nearly as much. I've noticed I complain more than I used to, and it does bother me as well. You, you know when you do something and it bothers you, but you can't stop it? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm going through. But hopefully I can... Stop it, you know. The point is, I'm working on it. Okay, so he's he's getting toxic blade. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Um, polynomicon time. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. Or Chrome spin it. I think it's poly time. I think I just gotta be more careful with my cooldowns, and I'll be okay. Like, don't do that while my dash is down. Yeah, like, dang, I'm dumb. Leap. I don't have any stacks of Celestial. I need to leave. Wow, he waited for that. He waited for that. That's crazy. That is insane that he waited for that. I'm very surprised. However, if I have more cooldowns, I can use my 3-1 while his leap is down more often, too. Thankfully, that doesn't do much damage when he's trying to poke with it. That's the speeds. Alright, I'm backing. I might lose my Phoenix, but if I stay, I'm dead. He is still ahead. Or maybe I won't lose my Phoenix. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is he going for bull demon? Probably. Let's go find out. No? Thank you. That's very nice of you. Okay. Alright. We'll probably replace boots for Chronos Pennant and then replace Celestial for either a Gem of Iso a high damage item like poly or even a breast or even some sort of other defense item even like a health item <clears throat> okay also nice thing about divine Rune is it keeps him from healing with his chalice oh that sucks i really hate that he can just immune my kit with that it's like there's none of my abilities are faster than his leap you know None of them. So I, I can only use one of them on him at a time. Like, I can use that. But now, my 3-1, I can't use. Because he'll just leap it. 
Or just do that. I'm in trouble. Clear the ar archers so he can't take Phoenix, hopefully. And he's going for an Aussie at, no, a chin size. I don't have that much. I didn't build into health, thankfully. But the Guardians have such high base health that it's still a good pickup for him. Okay, I'm only a level down. It sucks playing from behind the entire game, but oh well. All right. He's on his blue buff. It's fine. I can afford Polly, so we should back right after this wave. However, he has pressure to go for Bull Demon right now. Which I would really appreciate if he did not. So I can't back and get Polly because he's taking it. Oh, he's going to take it anyways. Okay. Well, he took that fast. Best I can do is try and distract him so he doesn't go for wave. Never mind. He's not chasing me. He's going after objective. Well, I got my poly, I guess. Look in the positives. I guess I'll try to use my two first this time so he leaps over that. Oh, I missed. Oof. Okay, real tired of these jumps and stuff. Toxoblade sucks. Okay, at least I didn't go Bancroft's. I think that would have been worse for my Toxoblade. That jump, man! I don't want to say it's like 100% of counter, but it is really annoying to fight, that's for sure. I can't place my two through a wall like that, and he's pretty much out. He can just leap over my next ability if he really wanted to. Please don't bounce me. Okay. Well, that's Terra. I had so much physical defense, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it's a counter matchup. Like all of my abilities are slower than Hoi Jump, so I can only get at most half of my abilities. And my two is very hard, difficult to hit without my three. The entire terror combo is three, one, auto, two, auto, one. I'd probably mess that up. But it's it's like there's nothing I can do with that. It's a counter matchup, you know? I did my best. And I hope you guys can appreciate that. We'll go back to the Guardian before. I am still enjoying the series. It's just the comments kind of got to me. But have a, have a good day, everybody.